In this video, we'll take a look at a couple of the key benefits of virtualization, starting with consolidation and efficiency. So let's think about a gym. Let's compare our virtual infrastructure to a gym. And some of you may have experienced this before if you're a gym goer. Around January 1st, the gym starts to get really busy, right? So during the normal part of the year, a gym with maybe 20 treadmills and uh, 50 exercise machines may suffice. But if you're a gym owner, you know that come January, there's going to be two to three times as many people. And it would be awesome if you could triple the size of your environment temporarily. And then when all those people realize that, yeah, maybe we don't really like exercising so much. <laughs> You could maybe shrink it back down to size, right? And that would be really awesome if we could do that with the gym. It would also be really great if we could do that with the hardware of our virtual data center. And when we start talking about virtualization, it kind of leads us to this idea of eventually cloud computing where there is a vendor or a service provider like Amazon Web Services, for example, that we can maybe spin up a bunch of temporary virtual machines on somebody else's hardware and accommodate that busy time of the year for us. But we can't really get there without virtualizing first. And we're coming out with a one hour cloud course as well, a crash course in cloud but we really need to get virtualized first because you can't move to the cloud until you virtualize. This is the first step along that path to where we can get to uh, what we call a state of elasticity, right? where we can rapidly grow and rapidly shrink the resources at our disposal. Can't really do that with virtualization, but virtualization is a building block towards that sort of flexibility. But what virtualization provides us with is the ability to consolidate workloads. Here we see a whole bunch of physical servers in a data center. And hopefully every single one of these servers isn't running only one operating system instance. Think about how many more workloads we could accomplish if we were running 20 to 30 Windows instances on every single one of these servers instead of just one per server. That's the biggest benefit of virtualization. And that's the benefit that initially drove this innovation to virtualize consolidation. The other big benefit is efficiency. So here we see a few different servers that maybe we have on physical systems in our environment. Maybe we have a print server that's using like 20% of its CPU and 20% of its memory and a web server and a database server and who knows what else. These are physical servers that really aren't using all of their resources. And if you think about it, you paid for all that hardware. If you're only using 20%, you're wasting 80%. So by stranding resources on a physical host that can only run one operating system, we really have two choices of how we can handle that. We could start installing other applications on our print server, right? And making uh, multiple applications run on the same server. But as we kind of start doing that, that opens up a whole different can of worms. Because now if I need to reboot this print server, I have to really start thinking, what else is running on this print server? What else am I going to impact by doing maintenance on my print server? And so I start creating all of these interdependencies on the same hardware, and that's not a good thing. So most of the time, what we end up with is just resource waste. If we instead were to get rid of those physical servers, consolidate those workloads on a hypervisor, and run multiple operating system instances on that hypervisor, now we can really start to oversubscribe and we could start to right size and we can shoot for that sweet spot where we want to be like 60 70 percent resource utilization so we're using the resources that we've purchased but we're not overburdening them 
That's our goal with virtualization, right? is, to maxim is to maximize the investment in hardware that we make without wasting money on resources that we're never going to utilize.